My name's Mark O'Reilly and welcome to this edition of Insurable Risk. Today we're talking to Sarah Mithen, who's the Claims Manager Professional Risk at Ausbrokers Countrywide. If I was to Google Professional Indemnity Insurance as of today, I'd get 1.5 million hits. So how do we navigate our way through that? Well, Mark, that just demonstrates the importance of having a professional indemnity specialist to uh, handle your risk, to be able to navigate through the market and uh, to be able to set up appropriate structure for your policy and uh, something that will respond in the event of a claim. How important to you is coverage versus price? You need to be able to afford what you're buying, but uh, coverage is number one. It, uh, nobody remembers the price when uh, they have a claim. How do we go about defining indemnity back to a client? Well, obviously when it, a client takes out a policy, um, their indemnity limit, um, whether it's one million, two million, or 10 million, this is the amount um, or the sum insured um, for an easier term that people might understand that um, is on the policy that is the limit to um, what the insurer will pay in the event of a claim. What does claims made mean? Claims made is unique to the professional risk uh, area of insurance. It's um, different to a loss occurring basis that people may be more familiar with through the property and liability. Whereas a claims made um, policy is unique because you need to have a policy in place at the time of a claim. Uh, at the time of a claim meaning at the time of the notification? Oh, that's right, when yes. When the yeah. client is first told that they've got a problem? Yes. It is very important that uh, you notify all circumstances uh, to ensure that um, if something does eventuate from that circumstance that you have a policy in, in place that will respond and uh, carry through. In your so, role with your legal background, how has that helped you to assist in our clients in a number of claims? In addition to the uh, uh, law qualifications, I've also studied commerce with um, insurance and economics majors as well. So um, having that kind of background as well as having worked as an account manager does enable you to have an understanding of policy wordings and um, how they can enact with the um, with the legal system and what insurers look for in terms of um, clauses and whether something's going to be covered or not. Another one of your key roles is to help educate our customers and you're doing a lot of work in relation to writing articles and preparing a lot of information on websites of how we can facilitate information to our customers. That's right, uh, Mark. It's important to us that our clients are educated in what they're buying and um, to us, so that they firstly understand what they're getting but also how it will respond and be useful for, um, to them in the event of a claim. This is a special website for our professional risk division uh, here at Ausbrokers Countrywide. Um, when uh, clients take out a policy also, we provide them with a guide to professional liability. Um, there's fundamentals about uh, what a professional is and who may need professional indemnity. Um, there's also a discussion about um, policy coverage, circumstances that may give rise to a claim and how to notify a claim. Um, there's some information in there about contractual liabilities and indemnities um, within contracts. It's what is the number one issue with signing contracts that you see? Um, clauses about hold harmless. Often a uh, party may be um, contracting to a larger uh, party and they're asked to sign a contract without even really uh, being aware of what they're signing, um, where they are being asked to hold harmless or uh, indemnify the larger party for, um, for things that are perhaps outside their, um, their scope or um, outside so their policy um, coverage. So what does that do to their policy coverage if they sign a contract? Um, it can void their policy coverage or the insurer may reduce the, um, in the event of a claim, they may re reduce the settlement depending on how, um, how that has affected the claim by signing that, um, that clause. Another element that we often see is the potential of uncapped exposures, not necessarily in the professional indemnity space, but across the whole insurance sector. Our clients might want to consider um, capping their liability within the contract um, with the client. Uh, a cap essentially puts a limit on their exposure. Um, and it's essential that uh, if you are considering a cap that you ensure that it is um, equal to or below the limit of the professional indemnity 
look and products liability policy. One of our articles that's on the website is um, called Caps and Gaps and the importance of cap liability. And um, this article actually gives a suggestion of how to um, calculate a cap. Obviously, it's not a science because we can't we don't have a crystal ball as to what will happen. Um, but there are various factors that certain occupations need to consider if they're um, inserting a cap clause into um, a contract.